Hello, Dr. Joe here of the drjoe.com and the 2020 forum.com. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about this wonderful fruit here called avocado. Okay, you are very familiar with it and we're going to be talking about it. The question is, does consuming avocados make your heart and your blood vessels soar like an eagle? You know, the eagle is a fantastic bird. It's got fantastic vision. It can spot an object from two miles away. That's how good the eagle's vision is. And the eagle also represents freedom and peace. So the question is, consuming avocados on a regular basis, will your heart and blood vessels find that much needed peace? That's what we're gonna be talking about in this very video. But before we continue, just to let you know that I have published a new video in my second channel. I will encourage you to uh, watch that video uh, when you finish watching this very video. The link is gonna be right below this very video in the very first comment right below this video. So uh, that's there for your consumption. Now let's continue. The question really is, will consuming avocados on a regular basis make your heart and blood vessels soar like an eagle? We're going to be looking at that by way of uh, a research paper that was published recently. So here it is. So the study we're going to be looking at uh, aimed to answer the question of whether avocados are good for the heart or not. Okay, are avocados good for the heart or not? And what prompted the study authors to look at this was the fact that there weren't really any long-term studies looking at avocado consumption and uh, the risk of uh, cardiovascular disease in the long term. Uh, those studies were lacking and they felt they needed to look at that. So uh, are avocados good for the heart or not? Now, it was an observational study, meaning it can only talk about association. Observational studies cannot talk about cause and effect. Uh, it's a limitation of observational studies, but epidemiological studies are still very relevant uh, in science. Uh, regardless of that limitation. Now, in this very study, there were 68,786 women from the Nurses' Health Study and 41,701 men from the Health Professionals' Follow-up Study. Okay, So that's got a huge number of study participants in this very study. Now, uh, at the beginning of the study, uh, the study participants were free of the three main uh, diseases that are killing us, uh, especially in the West. And I'm referring to cancer, coronary heart disease, which is what causes heart attacks, as well as strokes. So all study participants were free of all three at the beginning of the study. And the way the study authors went about the study was that they used validated food frequency questionnaires at the beginning of the study, as well as every four years. So every four years, they administered a questionnaire on the study participants telling them uh, what they ate uh, over the four years. And in this very instance, they will be zooming in on avocado consumption. And the study duration was for 30 years. So that's quite a long duration of a study, uh, which also adds to the relevance. And in the 30 years of the study, there were 14,274 cardiovascular disease events. Okay. So a total of 14,274 cardiovascular disease events uh, over the 30-year period amongst the study participants. So what did they find? Well, they found that eating two or more servings of avocado per week resulted in a 21% lower risk of coronary heart disease. Okay, So if you consumed two or more servings of avocado per week, you reduce your risk of coronary heart disease by 21%. Okay, so that was the relevant finding in this very study. And the study authors surmised that if you replace half a serving per day of margarine, butter, eggs, yogurt, cheese, or processed meats with the equivalent amount of avocado, you will be reducing your cardiovascular disease risk by 16 to 22 percent okay so replacing half a serving per day of margarine butter eggs yogurt cheese or processed meats with an equivalent amount of avocado you will be reducing your cardiovascular disease risk 
by 16 to 22 percent which is pretty good and uh, the lead author of the study was uh, Lorena Pacheco and she said well uh, for the most part we have known that avocados are healthy but I think this study because of its numbers and duration adds a little more substance to that knowledge now that's uh, a quote from uh, Lorena Pacheco who was the lead author of this very study and uh, this is a study uh, it was published in the Journal of American Heart Association and it was titled Avocado Consumption and Risk of Cardiovascular Disease in U.S. Adults. Now we know that avocados are a nutrient-dense food. They're really nutrient-dense and they're, they're full of monounsaturated fatty acids as well as polyunsaturated fatty acids. So clearly avocados are good for you because they are nutrient-dense and they are full of healthy fats because the monounsaturated fatty acids as well as the polyunsaturated fatty acids are healthy fats. Those are fats that we should be consuming and that's why we love avocados. So there you go, uh, avocados are very good for your heart and your blood vessels. Consuming them on a regular basis will provide the necessary nutrients that your heart and your blood vessels need to perform optimally. So uh, not a bad idea for us to have them uh, on our shopping list on a regular basis, okay? So avocados are good for you. That's uh, what we can deduce from this very video. So hopefully you got some value from this very video. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Please like the video and also please share this video with your friends, with your family, with your colleagues. Now, if you've got any questions, any comments regarding this video presentation, go ahead, leave your comments down below. I think that's about it. Until next time, well, this is Dr. Joe signing.